continuous carbonization furnace, smaller scale, input 500 to 700 kg per hour, output 180 kg to 200 kg per hour output. This is feeding conveyor. It's made of screw conveyor. So this hopper, it can be open bigger or small. This is feeding hopper. We can check the condition of the raw material here. After feeding raw material going through these four stage drums and then back to here, here, go here. And finally drop down to the final cooling conveyor and discharge at that position. This is the furnace main body. This is the burning chamber. This is the recycled gas burning tube. This is made of stainless steel. And these tubes, we use raw material inside. This is the main motto of the main body furnace. This is the reducer of the main machine. So the chains bring the screws and then rotating working. This is cooling conveyor of discharge. This is purification tubes. It's also purification tubes. The smoke coming out from the inner drum going through these three purification tubes. After that, Remove the dust and the steam. The clean recycled gas, flame ball gas will rain, return to the furnace bottom for burning the fire. It's always valves. We, we can open bigger or smaller to control the fire. This is the observation door to check inside the fire condition and also we can open here to bring more air into the chamber to help the burning uh, of the fire. Uh, this is the purification to purify inside chamber smoke. The pipe makes it this angle because in this angle, uh, the liquid waste will drop down. So it will not stuck inside the pipe. To assemble this furnace, there are several parts. First is the main body of the furnace. It's one peak. Uh, when you receive the machine, it's already one peak. And after that, you put this fitting conveyor here and next put the purification tubes like this, one by one. And then the pipes. It's always labels you can connect it accordingly. To use the machine, we firstly start every motor of the system. We start the rotating drum, let the machine rotating, and then after that, we burn the firewood of three chambers to preheat up the furnace. And after the temperature, there will be a temperature meter there. After the temperature reaches 280 centigrade, then we can feed in materials. Start this feeding conveyor. The speed is with a converter, so the speed of the feeding is adjustable. After the feeding uh, materials, material will start carbonization, and we can run it at slower speed 
and after 10 or 15 minutes, it will drop down of the output, the bell, char and charcoal. You can check if it's fully carbonized. If not, we can make this rotating speed slower. If it's already fully carbonized, then we can keep on this speed. If it's over carbonized, we make this faster rotating speed. And after carbonization happens started, there will be smoke coming out from both sides of here. And the other one same, they all go through the purification system. After that, we need to open the purification system and also the fan. The fan is also able to control the speed. And then we open the valve to smaller, then check if the flame ball gas is successfully uh, burned, ignited. After that, if the smoke of the uh, flame ball gas is more, we can open the valve bigger. Then the fire of the chamber will be bigger. Of the flanks, when you tighten the screws, you need to add the sealing materials, so no smoke will leaking. And also we need to prepare a water pool underground and using the water pump to bring water inside the system. Extra water will go out here. So let me explain the purification system. This one and that one, they are same. Water spray. We connect water in, bring water in on the top. Spray, make the dust come down. And then the water will drop down to this water tank, small water tank. We use water to seal the top because it's open at the bottom. And the other one same, in, water in, and water output. Uh, we, can, we can make this to that direction. And the middle one is condensation. Water in at the, at the below, and then water out on the top here. Water in, water out. And the other one, cooling system, cooling discharge, uh, cooling discharge conveyor. This is water out. Uh, that one is water in. This is the water in. Bring in water here and out there. The final one. Bring in water in here and out upper. So totally one, two, three, four, five need connect with water. After all running well, we just need to continuously feed the material, make this full of material. Always full, cannot be empty because the air can go into the system. It is not acceptable. Always full of material here. And then continuously feeding, uh, feeding materials, continuously getting the bell trap and the product and 24 hours working with continuously using the recycled gas produced from the carbonization. So it's super easy to understand. I hope this video helps you to understand more. Uh, it's control carbonate. No need to adjust them, just rotating, rotate. Rotate the speed. 
is enough. Okay, thanks for watching.